Seasons greetings and welcome to today's Roots Magic webinar. My name is Michael Booth and I'm Vice President of Roots Magic and one of its developers. And also with us this afternoon is the Roots Magician himself, Bruce Busby. And Bruce, of course, is the President of Roots Magic and its author. And are you looking for a family gift that's quick, affordable, and meaningful? Well, Roots Magic, Personal History, and Family Atlas have got you covered. And today we'll inspire you with great gift ideas that can make that you can make with your, our award-winning software products, such as photo trees, personal timelines, family maps, wall charts, calendars, and shareable CDs. Let's dive in. The first tool that I'd like to show you is Family Atlas. Now we have a whole webinar dedicated specifically to Family Atlas and how you can use it to load your genealogy and plot your family history on the interactive world map and even publish maps from it. But there's some really cool gift ideas that many people aren't aware of. Okay, uh, if you've used Family Atlas, you are aware that you can import your genealogy file into it and you can see where your ancestors lived, how, how they migrated, um, where they lived relative to each other. But one of the fun things you can do with it is to add marker sets that have nothing to do with genealogy. To do so, you just click on the green plus sign to add a new marker, and you have the choice for a genealogy marker set, which is just plotting data from your, your genealogy file, or you can choose a place marker set. And this allows you to enter places by hand okay, that you want to have uh, mapped. So I'm going to choose a place marker set and I'll click OK. Now, what I'm going to do now is create a marker called Family Vacations. Okay, and I'm going to give it a symbol. Um, I'll do a circle and I'll change the color to, I'll say, uh, <coughs> a teal color, maybe a little bigger. <coughs> Excuse me. And I will even tell it to put a line connecting the different events. And I'll click OK. And then down here in this box, this is where I can enter the places that I'd like to plot. So I'll just click Add. And I will say, let's see, we first went to Green Bay, Wisconsin. And this was in the summer of 1980. And so for the place, I'll put Green Bay, Wisconsin. And then I just click the tab button, and Family Atlas fills in the latitude and longitude for me. So it knows where to draw that on the map. And I click OK. Now I just add the next one. I'm like, OK, in 1981, we went to Disneyland. OK, so then for the place, I'll put Disneyland fills in the latitude and longitude, I click OK, and then I'll click Add, and this time I will do Grand Canyon in 1982, and uh, Grand Canyon, Arizona, and uh, click OK, and uh, we won't spend too much time on this, I think you'll get the idea here, do one more, and this time we will do, uh, let's see, we went to Mount Rushmore the following summer. Okay. And now if I click OK, I have a very nice family map of the vacations where we went each summer. And I'm not sure how useful those connecting lines are, but uh, that's helpful if you went on a road trip. You could point to exactly which spots you went to. Or if your family moved around a lot. If you lived in multiple places and cities, it could be fun to draw a map of where the family moved and how they moved from year to year. And then if I want to publish this map of our family vacations, I just click Publish Map, and I call this our family vacations. And for the subtitle, we really get around. And I can choose the size of the, the paper, 
margins, fonts, whatnot. If I want to have the legend or not, in this case, I don't need a legend, and I'll click Publish. And now I have a very nice map, and this is the drawing program, and I can just, uh, I can even add pictures here. Let me make that a little bigger. So I can add pictures and annotate this and just really make a nice map of family vacations. And then I can either save this out to a graphic file to put into a history of the family, or I could just print this map just as it is. If I had a color printer, I could print it a really nice little family map. And this is a great present to give to family members, and everyone can sit there and look at the map and pictures and kind of reminisce about the memories of these vacations. Really nice personal family gift. Okay, I'm going to just shut down Family Atlas and let's move on to Personal Historian. Now uh, we can't, we don't have time to go into all the ins and outs of using Personal Historian. Suffice it to say that there are several uh, webinars which have already been recorded which go into the detail, the ins and outs, and how to get started and how to set it up. Uh, but the bottom line, if you're not familiar with Personal Historian, is it is software which helps you write a personal history, a life story either about yourself or your kids, or parents, ancestors, any number of people that you like. And how it starts out when you create a, a new personal history file, uh, it will ask you for information about the person. It can import information from your genealogy software. You can type it in. And then uh, it will also import, import uh, timelines, which come with the software. So you'll see uh, things like food, like here's Neff Cafe, and inventions, and music, and radio shows, and movies. All of this is brought into the person's history to create a timeline of their life. And from here, you can, you can uh, just click on, click on any of these events, and it has a built-in word processor where you can write about it, add pictures, and just write these stories. And then uh, in the end, Personal Historian will take all of these stories that you've written, and it will pull it together into a finished history that you can publish and share with other people. Well, the obvious gift that you can give with Personal Historian is a personal history itself. Okay, so actually going through the process of setting up a file for yourself and going through and writing these stories and, and publishing and printing this history. Well, uh, here we are, it's December 2nd, and you may not have time, especially in a busy December, to get all of that done and all of that ready to give to the family by Christmas time. Well, one thing that you can do uh, is give people an, a timeline of their lives. Okay? If you uh, go through this process of setting up a file for someone and importing the events and history events, this is just a fun thing to look at. It's just fun uh, for someone to look at, even if they aren't writing their history. So I can look right here. I see, oh, the game of Candyland was invented when this person was five years old, back in 1940. Pinocchio came out when he was four, different things like that. I can, if I wanted to just give someone a timeline of their life, that uh, a printed timeline that they can just look at and reminisce and see the different things going on at their different ages. <clears throat> I just create a file. Personal Historian walks me step by step through creating this timeline. Then, instead of writing any stories at this point, I am just going to go up here to the books, and I'll click New Book, and I'll call this a timeline of Ronald's, Ronald Stewart's life. And this is going through the steps as if I'm creating a book. 
what I want is something much simpler than a book, so I'm just going to uh, just disable the cover page and title page and table of contents and whatnot. And I'm going to say just include all the stories and put them in a single chapter. <coughs> then be sure to check this option to include stories with no text. Otherwise, it's just going to include any of the stories from the list that actually have a, all, only events from the list that actually have a story written about them. This way we'll get everything. And I'll create a book and publish the book. And here we go. Now I have a timeline. Of course, there were some stories written here already, but showing it, the dates and different things that were going on on each date. So a very quick, nice little personal present that you can uh, give to family members or friends for that matter. If you can get uh, their personal information when they were born and whatnot, you could do that. Okay. So that is Personal Historian. Let's move on to Roots Magic. This, of course, is Roots Magic 5, which is brand spanking new. just came out a few days ago. Uh, but uh, most of this can also be done in Roots Magic 4 as well, uh, with one exception, which I'll show you. Uh, here's Roots Magic 5. The first thing I want to show you is a new feature in Roots Magic 5, and that is the On This Day chart. Okay, you may have seen like websites or 1-800 numbers of these services that you can, you can order a really nice list of everything that happened on, say, a person's birthday, and, and you can take it and present it to them on nice paper and really impress them, and they can be entertained by that. Well, Roots Magic can save you some money and create that list for you. <clears throat> Just uh, click up here under Print Reports, and you want to look for the On This Day report, On This Day list right here. I'll click Create Report, then I give it the date, basically the day of the year, and I'm going to choose January 14th, and I can say I want to include family events, famous births, famous deaths, and historical events. Click Generate Report, and here I go. So in terms of family events, one thing happened in my family. Uh, this couple was married in 1896, and here are all these famous births and famous deaths and historical events that all happened on this day. So I could choose a person's birthday, enter that in, and print out a really nice on this day report to give to them. And that feature is new in Roots Magic 5. It is not available in any previous version. Okay, the next gift that you can create in Roots Magic is a wall chart. And we have a whole webinar devoted just to wall charts. So go to rootsmagic.com slash webinars and uh, look at the, how to using Roots Magic to create wall charts. And you can learn all about that, all of the different options, but I just want to make you aware of this first. Okay, a wall chart is basically a chart which uh, will fit, basically sizes the paper to fit all the information that you want to print on it. So basically, uh, it's making a big chart that you can hang on your wall that uh, is too big for a book. You can either choose an ancestor chart, a descendant chart, or an hourglass chart, which goes in both directions. So I'm going to choose an hourglass chart of Dr. James Smith. If you're going to do something that you want to give to the kids and grandkids, you may want to choose yourself as the starting person. And then an hourglass chart would show the children, your children and grandchildren down below you and then as well as your parents, your grandparents, great-grandparents above you. Okay, so that's a really nice uh, chart to kind of help the kids and grandkids see where they fit into the bigger picture. 
Uh, you choose the number of generations of ancestors and descendants that you want. Some different options, you click Generate Report, and it starts up the wall chart, which is showing up on my other monitor. Let me move it over here, and here you can see it. So here is a here is a uh, our wall chart. And you'll see this is pretty big. It's uh, 38 inches wide and about nine inches tall. So there are a couple things, and if I get closer. It has the colors for my color coding, and it can even put whatever pictures I have in there in the in the chart. I can customize this. I can change the background image. I can move these boxes around, customize it however I like. Now, in terms of printing this, I have a couple options. I can print this on my own printer. If I have a regular printer, this is going to print individual sheets of paper. Okay, so I'm going to end up uh, probably with about nine sheets of paper that I will have to tape together. And that's fine if you need a working chart, something you can hang on the wall and write on and you don't care how it looks. But if you want to give something as a gift, you probably want it to look a little nicer. Uh, you have a couple options there. You can either export this out and save it as something I always, my preferred form is, is the PNG portable network graphics. Save it out to a graphic file and then you could take this to you know, Kinko's or Alpha Graphics or any print shop that has an oversized printer nearby and they can print the chart out for you. But a much better option if you have a little bit of time a plan ahead, if you aren't waiting until Christmas Eve to do this, you can save yourself a little money and you can get a better product if you go to our website, you go to printmychart.com. This is our chart printing service. We use a company called Family Chart Masters. And they will take your Roots Magic chart that you design, or even you can send them your Roots Magic file, and they will create nice customized charts from it. And uh, they do a very good job. Their prices are reasonable. They print it out, stick it in a, a mailer, and mail it to you. They can laminate it, mount it, whatever you need. The only thing you need to remember is this is a very busy, busy season for them around Christmas time. And you want to be able sure, sure that you get your order into them early and uh, with enough advance notice because they need to print those and mail them back to you. So if you can plan ahead a little, you'll, you can get a really nice service there. Okay, moving on from wall charts. <coughs> There's another report which is perfect. It's, it's practically made just to give it away, and especially for kids, and that is the photo tree. This is a report right here in Roots Magic. If you, you give it a starting person, and you can choose the box style. Um, I think I'll choose photo album. And I will generate the report. And the photo tree, it starts with a starting person, and it just shows three generations. Okay, uh, from a professional genealogist's point of view, this, this uh, particular chart isn't anything terribly special or that informative. But for a kid, for a child, this is, uh, this is one of the best ways to present genealogy to them. Okay, because you could have their picture there, mom and dad, and then grandmas and grandpas up in the top row. And this really brings the concept of a family tree and the relationships just brings it right home for them. And you can, you can of course, just print this. If you have a color printer, print it out. You could even uh, go into the settings, because right now I've got this header where it says photo tree and the date and everything. If I want to just get rid of that, I go to settings and layout and then header and footer, 
an uncheck print header and uncheck the print footer and just clean that up a little and here I go. I got this, I can print it on my printer, buy some little inexpensive frames, uh, just print it out, frame it and give it to them to hang in their room and it's just really nice personable gift. Okay, moving on from the photo tree up the list of reports, we have the calendar. Now, the calendar in Roots Magic, you tell which month you want to print. You can choose all months or an individual month of the year. You tell it what year you want. So, of course, for Christmas, <clears throat> you, you probably want to give them a calendar for next year, something that they can hang up in the kitchen. And so, you choose all months, give it the following year, say 2012, the title, I'm going to call this the Booth Family History. You choose the people that you want and by default it's going to choose everybody in your file and that can be a little overwhelming especially if this is a present for family members who aren't so involved in family history. You'll probably want to narrow the scope down so instead of everyone, you choose select from a list, find the person that you, uh, a common uh, person that you want to start with. So I'll look for uh, James Smith right here. And then mark the group, and you could just say descendants of the highlighted person. And we'll just do descendants and spouses. And we'll also do ancestors. And actually, that marked a lot of people, I think. We'll see. <clears throat> now, you'll also have checkboxes here. Here's an option, only include living people. If I uncheck that, I'm going to get the birth dates of even people who are deceased and marriage dates of people who died a long time ago which may be what you want. Maybe you want them to see, hey, on this day, great, great Grandpa Jones was born 142 years ago. Okay, or if you're <clears throat> something a little less overwhelming, you may want to just include living people only. Uh, you also have an option to include, to use the married name for females and to include age, and you can choose if you want birthdays, anniversaries, if you want to include divorced marriages, and if you want to print private facts. So I'm going to generate the report. This is creating our calendar and voila! And just based on the scope of the people that we picked, ah, we have like, here's Flora Phoebe Smith. <coughs> and so on. I need to go up here and uncheck only living people and we'll see a lot more names on here. Here we go. So we can see here's the date that Burton Sylvester Smith would have turned 122 on January 12th. So nice little calendar that you can print out. Again, looking at this, this doesn't necessarily look like a normal calendar, so I can go to settings. Most calendars are actually in the landscape format, so I'll go to settings, <clears throat> layout, and instead of uh, a portrait orientation, I will choose landscape, so that's turned on its side, and I'll just shut off the header and the footer again. Generate that. Now I have a nice family calendar. And what I like to do, I print this out on cardstock just so it's a little sturdier. And then I will take this to the local print shop or even an office supply store like Staples or Office Max. And they, they, have, um, they have the little spiral, spiral binding that they can bind reports. And I just have them spiral bind my calendar. It costs about $2.00 comes out looking really nice and, and uh, makes it really nice and easy to hang on the wall. 
and then I like to print out family pictures and, and just uh, <clears throat> put them on the upper side of the page for the pictures on each month. Very nice, very easy, uh, inexpensive, and it's very personable, a great way to get the family involved and in seeing their family history. Okay, and the last gift is the shareable CD. And we had a webinar just a few weeks ago on the shareable CD. But this is a great, great Christmas present, and it's even easier than anything we've shown you so far. Because you just go to Tools, Create a Shareable CD, fill in the blanks, give it a title, so I'll call this our booth family history. Give it an introduction. Merry Christmas. I hope that you enjoy this compilation of our family history. Please send donations. genealogy website subscriptions ain't cheap. Okay, and then I'll get a picture for the introduction, click next. I can put in my own contact information and what we'll do is create a CD or a DVD and it will put all of my data on there it will put all of my pictures and media on there, and it will even put a copy of Roots Magic, a special copy of Roots Magic, on the CD that just runs right off of the CD. This makes it different than uh, anything else out there. So you give it to a person. They don't have to buy Roots Magic. They don't even have to install Roots Magic on their computer. All they have to do is pop the CD into their, their computer, wait a few seconds, and this screen will appear to them right here. They'll see the title, the picture. They can read your little plea for donations. They can click right here, and it will bring up Roots Magic, run it right off of the CD, show them your data, pictures, everything. They can print books. They can print reports. Uh, they can print calendars. They can print everything that we've shown you. Uh, <clears throat> except for the wall charts, and um, uh, the only limitation is being on a CD, they cannot edit the information on the CD. They'd have to go th just copy it off the CD onto their computer if they want to be able to edit it. But this is just a super Christmas present, just perfectly perfect made for uh, a gift either Christmas or birthdays or even family reunions. Okay. Okay, so those are the presents that you can make with Roots Magic, Personal Historian and Family Atlas. Uh, many different ideas. All of them are pretty easy and pretty inexpensive and aren't terribly time consuming either. But there is another present that you may want to uh, give them, and that is the software itself. Now, if you're watching this webinar in the distant future, uh, this may not be applicable. But for the time being, okay, this, uh, we are offering a holiday offer to our Roots Magic users. Okay, and this is just so that uh, our users of Roots Magic Personal Story Family Atlas that they can share the software, share their enthusiasm for the work that they're doing with family members. Um, and so as a result, we allow you to buy uh, through the end of December 2011, you can buy Roots Magic Personal Historian Family Atlas or Family Reunion Organizer for 1995. And you can buy as many copies as you want give away as gifts and for family members. I mean, we, we encourage you to do so, to get the uh, family on board and get them involved in sharing this information with each other. 
And uh, we also put, if you're interested in the whole bundle of everything, we put Roots Magic Personal Historian and Family Atlas bundled together into what we call the Roots Magic Family History Suite. And uh, you save a little bit more money there. That's, uh, that comes to $49.95 for the three of those. And again, there's no limit to the number of copies that you can buy to give away as gifts. Uh, the only limitation is that you need to act before the end of the month. This will expire on December 22nd, 2011. Thank you for joining us for this webinar. And I hope that you got some good ideas and maybe something that you hadn't considered and something that will help you out find that perfect present for the, for the family members at this time of year.